Hoi everyone, this is a new release of Raspberry Pi OS, the operating system that is developed by Raspberry Pi and is the official operating system for all the Raspberry Pi models. There is a new release, let's take a look at it today. So this is the Debian Bullseye Raspberry Pi OS release, the first release with Debian Bullseye. I have some features that we can cover right here, so let's take a look at it. So first of all, this is a new default wallpaper. They actually did not mention this in their blog post, but there is a new default wallpaper in this operating system. You could get this one before, but now it is included by default. And another thing that they didn't mention is in the first time setup, the thing where it will ask you if there is a border around your screen, now it will ask you if you can see the taskbar good. So it's just kind of different wording, but those are just some things that I noticed without having explored this operating system yet. There is a new version of kind of the UI and stuff right here. So desktop preferences, like we have this tabbed interface right here. Then we have these rounded corners and we have a drop shadow and that is due to the fact that we have a new window manager which is called Mutter. And so the new window manager, we also have animations. So if you see when I open that, it kind of goes in like that. I think it looks a lot more, you know, like a regular desktop operating system. And so we have some new stuff there. And so this, if you are running on a Pi with less than two gigabytes of RAM, you don't get this stuff because it can't properly do it with that. So you get the old open box window manager, but this stuff, you know, it has animations. I think it just feels a lot nicer to work with. So we see the drop shadow right here. If we have multiple windows open, there's a little bit of glitch up here. But anyway, that I think is a lot better right there. And then the notifications are new. So if I were to plug in something to my Raspberry Pi and then unplug it, see the notification right here. This is kind of done in a new way. And so they will stack up if you have multiple. And then like before, you could click them to get rid of them. And then if you go to desktop preferences, and if you go to system, or I guess it's not here. It must be panel preferences or panel settings. You can see there is here. So notifications. And so you can have a timeout that you can adjust as well on the notifications. So the next thing is an updater plugin and I can't show you that right now, but when there are updates available, it will have a little icon and it will give you a notification. So you don't have to check for updates. It will do that automatically, but it will still give you a choice whether or not you install them. Then there are file manager views. And so if you go to the file manager, you can see these two views right here. Before there were lots of them and it was kind of confusing, but I like that they've kind of stripped that down a little bit just to make it easier to use. And then this looks a little different. This is just a UI change right here, just with the new versions of everything. That's very old. I'm not sure what that was all about, but the screen just went black and I had to force restart it. Anyway, so the next thing is the KMS video driver. And so this is a driver that will allow you to use applications just in a regular Linux environment, because sometimes you have to like rewrite them a little bit for the Raspberry Pi, you have to change a couple things. I'm not exactly sure on the details of that, but that is a change that I think will be useful. And then we have a new camera driver. 
and we have the bookshelf now has the custom PC magazine in it. We have updated ops. So we have like a new version of Chromium, for example. I think this is a new cursor right here. It's called the animated thing. Anyway, so if we go right here and we go settings and about Chromium, we have a new version right here. And we can also see that we are on Debian Bullseye. So we have also, when you're updating to this, they recommend a fresh install since it's a pretty major version. Oh, here, updates are available. Click the update icon to install. Okay, show updates. I just want to see what there is. And... So Mutter, there's a new version of Mutter. Maybe that will fix the black screen issue. Install. Okay, we got to try out that new feature. I think that will be very nice. Anyway, there are new versions of some of the apps and they recommend you do a fresh install. So you can do that with Raspberry Pi Imager. I have a video on that but they recommend just fresh installing it because anything that you have changed about the operating system, if you have changed things, it may mess it up. And so if you haven't really done much, then you may be fine, but if you haven't really done much, then it's probably not that hard to move over to another operating system. So I recommend that you just do a fresh install. So that is about it for this video and if you enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will be making videos if there is anything major happening with the Raspberry Pi or anything like that. And another thing I didn't make a video about this because I can't really do much about it. There is a new Raspberry Pi Zero 2 wireless, and so I don't have one of those, at least for now, but if there's like a software change, I will make a video on that. And so you may want to check out that product in the link in the description. Until next time, we will see you next time. It's Fortnite Kiwi from Super User Project Dial.